how's your position been looking? Uh, looks like Joe could be one of the stronger spots on, on the defense this year, outside linebackers. Yeah, I'm excited for them. Uh, you know, they're doing a really good job. The installs are going well. They're smart and they, uh, you know, they, they want to be good, which always helps. And they're always working to improve, always, always trying to get in, do extra stuff, and. Um, and that's what that's what makes them really good. And then um, obviously they got the talent. So so hopefully we can produce this year and and then put a good, put a good product on the field. You know, there's, there's a fox and a buck. Yes, sir. Can you can you just talk a little bit about those two spots? What what, what the roles are and, and who's playing them? Yeah, so we're the edge of the defense. Uh, fox goes to the field, starts with an F, pretty easy, and then Buck goes to the boundary. Um, and then so so for the buck right now well, you got Nick Corday Scotty and then for the for the fox spot you got KJ Will and uh, and Rome they're all doing a good job and then we'll interchange them we kind of we ask them all to learn both you know it's 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 pretty much a mirrored spot so we try to learn both so there's no specific job that's different from one spot to the next they're both basically the same Th there's little tweaks here and there but for the most part it's it's pretty much the same you guys added back Scotty and KJ from. Uh, the spring that in practice yeah. what have they given you in terms of just leadership and being a veteran practice? yeah they're both of them older guys in the room and you can tell by the way they carry themselves um obviously really talented and 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 happy to have them back and we didn't really know what we had with them and uh like now we know you know what i'm saying so pass rush wise they, they provide a lot and it's it's going to be fun to be able to roll those guys and get them on the field what can we look for from nick this year number five Oh, Nick's, I, th I think Nick will, Nick will have a good year, man. He's uh, he's done a really good job. He's learned the defense. He's physical. He's you know he's with Coach Rowe. He attacked all the workouts, and he's he's put his body in a good position to be successful this year. So um, it's on our job to you know scheme it up and get him in a good spot to make plays, and and that's what we plan on doing. What about Sidner? No, he's he's gonna be good, man. You don't you don't you don't find very many guys out there that have long arms like that. You know he's that seven foot wingspan, and he's 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 prime for a good one as well. Now, we've heard a lot about Will Help specifically mm -hmm. coming in here and really making an impact. Just what yeah. have you seen from him and his growth from the spring? Yeah, just maturity. You know, he came in with the he came in in the spring with the with the mindset that he was he was going to work, and and that's exactly what he did. And then as as we progressed through spring and into fall camp, that that's just that he's taking it up a notch. And he's done a really good job. He's a really smart kid. He's the type of kid that you really only have to tell something once, and he'll get it corrected. Um, and and then and then obviously the body and natural God-given talent that comes with it. He's going to be a really good football player for us. You yeah. these guys to get upfield and get pressure is that their main job? And we look for pass rushers. Yeah. Now we have to we we, we tell them that they got to earn the right to pass rush. We got to be really good on early downs. So first, second down, we got to stop the run. A lot of the drills that we do are for stopping the run. Then on third down, we can uh, we earn the right to pass rush. Anything out of Roman Petrie? Yeah, Roman's done a really good job. Roman Roman is. Roman is really athletic, long, big body, um, and and he's progressed. The progression that he's made since spring has been night and day. He's, he's gotten physical. Coach Rose got him right in the weight room. He's strong. He's stronger at the point of attack, and his pass rush has gotten a lot better. Um, and I'm looking forward to just keep working with him. And he's 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 going to be a really good player for us. I know you won't probably have like a percentage or anything like that, but how often do you think the guys will drop back and get in the coverage? Oh, I, I don't know. I mean, it's it's give or take. It's all it's all about situations and stuff like that. So we'll we'll teach them how to drop. But like I said, man, we want pass rushers. Um, and and depending on what situation arises, then we'll get them out in coverage a little bit. But but the goal is to get the quarterback. So what do you think makes this defense so unique? I think it's yeah. I, I just don't think a whole lot of people run it. And I think that the big thing that Coach Walters is we play against the quarterback. So, so we're, we're, our, our deal is we're going to try to confuse the quarterback, um, make everything look the same, and then work from there. So I think that that's in that capacity, if that makes it a little bit different than, than some other defenses out there. What have you seen from the tackles that your group has been going against? Yeah, I mean, I mean, a lot of them, have, they've, they've really improved. Moose and uh, Marcus, those dudes, those dudes can play now. They got, they're strong, they're athletic. When they're pulling, they bring some weight to them, and, and they're a good challenge for our guys every day. Every day that we go against them, we get better. Thank you, Joe. See that KU?